I don't want to cook is the same as I don't want to work out. And I'm not saying that you can't get it done, but it's going to be extremely hard to get to your goal if you're not willing to do some stuff that is fairly uncomfortable. And you can put some backing around strategy and, and, and build up some stuff there. And there's a ton of know-how to this whole thing. And really where people are falling to pieces in the nutrition department is all the areas where they already know to make the better decision. It's just going ahead and doing it. Where they're really screwing up is in the exercise department and uh, just getting past the idea that they can, okay? That's my job really is to, is to get people to do what they are capable of, what they can do. And But when it comes to nutrition, everybody knows enough to make better decisions. Uh, and the, the thing, I can't tell you how often I hear in a, in a conversation or in a consult that I hate to cook. Well, if you hate to cook, it's probably because you don't know what you're doing in the kitchen. And if you learn some very simple recipes and ways that you can get better at that, then you won't hate being in the kitchen, hopefully. And now maybe you just do hate to cook. Well, I don't really enjoy working out, but I still have to go do it, right? Same thing with you. Same thing with anything that you want to do in your life. It's probably not going to be that comfortable right at the beginning. And there's always things that we do that we don't want to do. Really, all this stuff, when it comes down to the exercise mindset, nutrition, recovery, most of it comes down to doing the things that you don't want to do when you don't want to do them. That's what gets you to where you want to go. And why am I making this video on a Sunday night? Well, I saved it, okay? I saved it to do live on a Sunday night because there are basically two times in your week that you're probably going to have the biggest opportunity to take advantage of and control of the time that you do have first thing in the morning and on your Sunday afternoon. So this is probably the time when you can get your family together and you can talk about uh, you, everybody can get committed to the same thing and you can have, instead of having a partner in crime, you have, uh, you're all committing to a better, healthier lifestyle. And I get that this is probably not the most comfortable thing in the world. Somebody's going to have to call somebody out, but you're going to have to call yourself out because if you're not willing to take 10 minutes, 10 minutes to cook a meal, it's going to be very difficult to get to where you want to go. And that's just the reality of the situation. We don't put a lot of fluff and we don't put a lot of uh, everything that you see from Grit Gym is going to be very, very, very genuine. Okay? You, it's going to be very difficult to, to get to where you want to go if you don't want to challenge some things that you're already doing. If you're drinking a bottle of wine every night, it's going to be very tough to get to where you're going to go. If you're going to bed at 1 o'clock in the morning, it's going to be very difficult to get to where you want to go. If you're not willing to cook, it's going to be very difficult to where you want to go. And it's going to be extremely hard to get to the goal if you don't want to actually do the workout when you know that the workout is the thing that is going to get you to where you want to go. And this is the reality of the situation. I've seen this over and over and over again. I've trained thousands of people over the last, uh, how long have I been doing this professionally? Since 2007 and before that, uh, I've been just training myself. The exercise is the easy part. Everybody thinks it's the hardest part. Everybody thinks exercise is going to be the hardest part. The exercise is the easy part. It's external. It's expressing yourself. It's also the most fun part. Okay, change on the internal uh, and changing the things that you know that you can improve about yourself, that's where it gets challenging because you can't actually see the obstacles that you're setting in front of yourself. Okay? And you're the one doing them. Uh, most people that consider themselves victims of their own situation are actually the perpetrators of their own victimization. So get out of your own way by getting yourself a coach uh, and you can do that by clicking above. But the thing is, everybody knows enough to make a better decision and you can. I, I make these videos over and over and over again and I just, I want to hammer that message. Yes, you can, but you have to get out of your own way and listen to yourself. If you listen to the words that you're using, you'll hear how silly they sound sometimes like, but I don't want to cook. Well, it's going to be very difficult to get there. Well, I don't want to work out. Well, neither do I. Well, I'm going to drink a bottle of wine every night. Well, do you hear what that sounds like? Because that's probably not going to, you probably don't feel very good. I, I can survive on four hours of sleep. Yeah, you can survive, but are you really living? Are you really feeling good? So everybody knows enough to make better decisions. Make sure that you take advantage of them. If you're not willing to put in the time to cook the meal, then uh, that's very, very similar to saying, I don't have time to actually put in the workout. When? It's not about finding time. It's about making time. But get it through your head. You can. And if you're interested in working with us, click the link above.